I'm here today at my local grocery store, which I'm pretty excited about because it's a very important place for me. One Tuesday afternoon, I met a stranger not very far away from the canned tuna section, and that afternoon changed my life, and it's really one of the reasons why I wrote the book. I began a project to find out what holds people back from cooking. I freak out. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm totally going to screw it up. And I'm not convinced that my cooking is any good. Everybody has this thing. And I've heard that this is a sharpener. I've heard it's a straightener. Uh, so I don't know what this is. I don't know what to do with it. Nine volunteers invited me into their kitchens to see what lurked in their cupboards, fridges, and freezers. Then they made me their go-to meal. Stover's five cheese lasagna and my world famous white trash garlic bread, which consists of hamburger buns, golden soft, <laughs> and Parmesan cheese. In 10 weeks, we taught them knife skills, how to use every part of a whole chicken, to braise, to broil, and saute. We made no neat artisan bread. We blind tasted everyday ingredients such as olive oil, salt, and tomatoes. Culinary professionals, nutritionists, and a top chef contestant contributed their expertise. Even my favorite French chef threw his hat in the ring. I, th I have found out over the years that most people are afraid to cook in their kitchen because they're afraid to get it dirty. <laughs> I wonder what they think about their bedroom. Just kidding. <laughs> I believe in the power of home cooking. With simple techniques and clear recipes from the book, my hope is that, like the volunteers, readers can learn to cook nourishing foods, eat well, save time, and spend less. But most of all, to gain confidence, not only in cooking, but in themselves. I hope you'll enjoy the Kitchen Counter Cooking School.